Hello and welcome to another one of E. Neil Shades Game Maker Tutorials. In this tutorial, due to a viewer request, I'm going to show you how to make a simple AI that chases and shoots at the player. This is going to be a very simple example. I do expect you to elaborate on this because this has no health for the player or shot rate for the enemy or many other very crucial elements for a game. Just so it shows you the basics. Due, due to a prior interruption of my recording process I have the game finished now and I'm just gonna go over the code with you I have all the sprites done no that's totally trivial the sprites do not matter at all with this example now for the person who is the player controlled object in in this game there's some very simple code all it does is check for inputs from the keyboard as is indicated by the keyboard check command or function and it checks for the arrow keys, the up arrow key, the down arrow key, the left arrow key, and the right arrow key. When any of these are pressed, it moves it in the corresponding direction at 5 pixels per step. Not too difficult. Now we move on to the enemy. Here's where the main code, all the code that I've been working on is. I declare three variables, AI sight range, AI gun range, and AI speed. The AI sight range is the maximum range of effectiveness of the AI in pixels, as in the player has to be 300 or less pixels away for the AI to be chasing him. And then AI gun range is what you would now expect from learning what AI sight range is. AI gun range is the maximum range in pixels of the gun. That means, you know, it checks for the player to be within 100 pixels before he starts shooting. And the AI speed is, as can be expected, the speed, the movement speed of the AI in pixels per second, which is 4. Everything is in pixels per step and pixels per second and everything like that. And now we, in this code, declare a local variable player direction, which is then set to every step, the point direction towards the person. Now we have the movement code. It checks if the distance to the object person, as is distance as distance to object says, is less than or equal to the AI sight range, so if he can be seen by the AI, then it checks if he has line of sight, so it says if this exclamation point means not, so if there is no collision between the AI and the per if there is no collision between the AI and the person, where there's a block in between, if there is no block in between the AI and the person, then it will return true for this and go on to this, which is the movement planning potential step, which is a pro-only function, so if you do not have pro, just comment on that if you don't want to get it, and I'll try to cook up a, a light-proven example, which will you know work with light. What this does is it plans movement towards the goal x and y coordinates where the which are the you know the origin of the player at and then it moves at that speed which is the ai speed or 4 pixels per step and then this one right here can be also be replaced by a zero which means check all and it can also be uh replaced with an object name if you're doing mp potential step object what this, what check all means is check all the objects in its path, as and it will avoid every object in its path. Now we go into the shooting code. It says it it first checks if the person is within the gun range, and then it just like before checks for the line of sight, and then it creates a new bullet and assigns the ID of that new. Then assigns the ID of that new um, instance into bullet. And then it says bullet dot speed equals twelve, so it sets the speed of the bullet, and then it sets the bullet direction to a um, randomly deviated direction. Just a second, sorry about that. It sets it to a randomly deviated direction towards the player, and then it rotates the sprite to that angle. This is another pro only thing. So if you don't have pro, again, tell me, and if you don't want to get it, that is, tell me, and I'll try to cook up a light example. That is all for the enemy, and now we have the shot, which is very, very simple. This checks for the collision with the person, and it destroys the object. This checks for collision with the block, and it destroys the object. That's it. Now, in the room, I have set up a 
player, an enemy, and four blocks. What the blocks do is block the line of sight from the enemy to the player, and also block bullets, so they're used for cover. And when this game runs, it should look something like this. You move your player with the arrow keys, and you get chased, and when he gets close, the enemy fires a whole bunch of bullets, because there's no, no rate of fire, and when you hide behind a block, the AI stops advancing. That would be it for my game, my newest game maker tutorial. Thank you very much for viewing.